Hey there YouTube, my name is John Hammond, this is more Pico CTF 2018. This challenge is called Truly an Artist for 200 points in the Forensics category. It says, can you help us find the flag in this meta material? And you can find the file here, but we are given a download. So, I have downloaded this, and just judging by the challenge prompt, I think we're going to be looking at some metadata. So let's check out what this file actually is. It is just an image file, right? PNG file or the of the logo. And we could do some stuff with it. If you want to run strings on it, you could do some anons. Uh, looks like that actually pops out the flag pretty easily too. <laughs> so the the go-to here, right, in, in this is, is running exif tool. And if you don't have the exif tool already installed, just sudo apt install exif tool. But it will allow you to view metadata, right? So you can check out the man page for it. Why did that give me Vim? That's weird. Uh, read and write metadata and meta information and files. So exif tool on this file will give you the artist, right? Hence the challenge title, truly an artist with Pico CTF looking image. So it turns out strings will work on it very easily too. So let's go ahead and just grep for our flag format and pump that to a simple get flag script. Pretty easy. Not too hard of a challenge. So cool. Let's actually follow through with all that. Let's more uh, chmod. Dot. I have this horrible problem sometimes when I'm recording. I wear a headset, right? And sometimes my 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 ear starts to itch, and it's just it's kind of bad. I like pause the video and just like itch my ear. Weirdness. Let's go ahead and submit that. This is real as it gets, guys. This is solving CTFs for realsies. <laughs> There's no filter in John Hammond videos. All right, assembly one is the next challenge. It says, what is SM10XCD? So some hex value return. Submit the flag as hex. Okay, so we've done this before in assembly zero. Let's check out what this is. We have a source file that we can download, and I have it in assembly. I don't have it, actually. Let's go. Let's W get it. When I recorded earlier, my internet was awful, so... I tried to download a bunch of stuff, but I guess I just didn't get this far. We can W get it real easy. Get the link, and let's check out what we're working with here. Let's set the syntax to assembly, and if you aren't using Sublime Text or whatever, you can... If you are using Sublime Text, you can install that package. If you don't know the package manager, you can find that on Google or whatever. So, SM0, SM, SM1, sorry. Let's take note of what we're trying to call this with. Just leave this comment here. So, 0xcd. We have... Let's let's go through this line by line, right? Function prolog as usual, and let's do this in a. No, let's do it in a one page. More function prolog, and then we determine if our first argument, right? We cover that in assembly zero, is greater than zero x d e. These numbers may be different. Uh, for how you're you're working on it, because uh, just they're they're really cool random generation of, of challenges. So let's say greater than zero xcd should be greater than zero xde, and we can use Python to test these values, and that's false. So we won't jump to part A. Now we test if ours is not equal to simple. 0x8, and that's obviously true. So we're going to go to part B. So let's jump down to part B. We'll say ex is going to equal our argument. So ex can equal 0xcd, and then we subtract 3 from it. So ex will now minus equal 0x3. So doing that, we have, oh, let's put that in hex, 0xca, fine. And now let's compare if our argument, if our argument, right, is not, so not not 0xca, but 0xcd, if that is not equal to 0xee, which we know it is not, so we will jump now to part c. So part c will take eax, which, again, is now being set to our original argument, so 0xcd, and now we'll add 3 to it. So now we have eax plus equals 0x3. So we want 0xcd, our original argument, 
plus 3. And then let's just turn that to hex and 0x d0. Now we go straight to part d, because we don't have any conditionals, we're not jumping anywhere, it's not branching, and we have our function epilog. Okay, so our final value of eax should be 0x d0 in my case. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's submit 0x d0. And I'm wrong. All right, what did I miss here? Oh, 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 I completely forgot to jump to part D. I don't know why I just, like, mentally missed that line. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to lead us all down that rabbit hole. That was stupid of me. Let's just go ahead and take our original argument minus 3, because after we subtract, then we go straight to part D and end the function, so we don't even need to worry about part C. My bad. I'm sorry. This is as real as it gets. <laughs> Cool. That's correct. All right. Thanks for bearing with me. I hope that wasn't too awful. Maybe it was still good for us to go through that process and read through some some assembly together. Uh, hopefully that's that's still cool. Hope you still love me. I make mistakes. I'm human. It's whatever. All right. Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. One dollar a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. You'll have your name up in lights at the end of a YouTube video. Aren't you just famous? Whatever. It's one dollar. <laughs> uh, and I'm just I'm grateful for it. It helps me out. Uh, and some public celebration of you. Thank you for being willing to support and, and help this channel grow. $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to everything that I release on YouTube before it goes live, because I like to try and have a backlog of content to be readily released kind of on a schedule, let YouTube gradually upload them, um, but I still got to get got to get a little bit better at that. I, I do have a job and other stuff that kind of takes away my time. But hey, if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server, link in the description. Cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. Hang out with me, other cool people, way smarter than me. Um, we'll be tackling a lot of CTFs. Pico CTF 2018 is awesome, and now that it's alive and well as a war game, like, it'll be online forever. You can always work on it and get better. Uh, that's awesome. I miss Pico CTF 2014 and 2013, guys. Can you, Scilab, can you pr please bring those back? <laughs> that would make some cool YouTube content tool. All right, hey. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'm bad at these. Hope to see you on Patreon. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.